Hi, this is Eric Rice, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Minnesota and Eastern South Dakota, and I'm here with your latest Two Minute Rice Ag Update. So today I'm in a soybean field in West Central Minnesota, and we've had some questions about white mold in soybeans. Is it a concern this year? I think white mold is a concern every year, but first I'd ask you, do you have a history of white mold in that field? If so, white mold is a concern uh, every season for you. It is a soil-borne fungal disease that stays there year over year, and we re it's really difficult to get rid of. Uh, there are three environmental factors that really uh, white mold flourishes in. So what are those factors? One, wet conditions, two, cool temperatures, and three, full, full canopy in that crop. So the first two we've definitely had. Uh, wet conditions, cool temps. I mean, as you can see above me and behind me, it's mostly cloudy again today, barely in the 70s. The extended forecast going into next week around the 4th of July, below average in the 70s again and even some 60s. So um, the third one, we don't have a full canopy yet. This late planted crop is actually helping us out. Uh, it's allowing some airflow through these. Uh, when you get that full canopy, uh, the leaves are touching early on, maybe narrow rows. Uh, that really leads towards uh, those spores developing early. But with the first two being uh, pretty important in the development of white mold spores, I would say white mold is a concern. So if it is, what are we gonna do about that concern? Well, university studies, uh, our company studies, many studies year over year say the same thing. Two different fungicide applications is the best way to prevent white mold from affecting your yield. So how do we, when do we start that? How do we, how do we apply that fungicide? Well, first, I've got a plant here I just pulled. Uh, we wanna start spraying at R1. R1 is where you see a flower forming on the plant. First flower, doesn't matter if it's first, second, you're in R1 or around that stage. Doesn't matter what node it's on, just finding a flower on that plant is what's important. Uh, so that's the R1 stage. I'd apply my fungicide anytime I start seeing flowers. Uh, I would follow that up about 10 to 14 days later, just systematically with the second application. And that is the best way to do it, to get a full season of protection against white mold. Uh, if you're deciding, hey, I'm only going out once, I'm gonna hit this uh, with a full rate mid-season, mid when's the best time I can do that? Uh, that's a secondary uh, recommendation, but still can be fairly effective. Uh, I'd be hitting that late R1 into R2 is when I'd be applying that. I believe that's about the best time you can do it, the most efficient time of your fungicide efficacy uh, is right about that stage. Uh, the other question I get is, are all fungicides, do they work on white mold? They do not all work on white mold. Okay, not all fungicides are created equal. There are many different uh, factors to what might help with white mold. So be sure to ask those questions if you're gonna look into a fungicide application. Uh, I'd encourage you to ask your local Pioneer Agency, agronomist, retailer, those questions about what they would recommend uh, for products to prevent white mold in your soybeans this year. With that, I hope everyone has a safe and great week next week and, and enjoy the 4th of July. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.